Hello and welcome to HODL Harmony, where the beat of the blockchain meets the rhythm of riches. Are you riding this crypto wave with me? I, Tom Durandi, the maestro, am a humble crypto enthusiast. And today we are going to look at creating a brand new lace wallet using the paper wallet feature, which requires a PGP key. So here we go. Let's take a look. I'm on my Windows computer that I use for broadcasting and on Windows there is a program called Cleopatra that you can use to create a PGP key. Now PGP key stands for, believe it or not, pretty good privacy. I guess pretty good privacy is better than none. Basically I have one here that I created but I'm going to create a new one for Yo Mama. We're going to name it Yo Mama. <laughs> And just for example purposes, we're just going to leave it at what it is. And we're going to hit OK. A new open PGP certificate was created successfully. And we have a fingerprint for this. So now what we're going to do is we're going to double click on Yo Mama. And that will bring up the information, the PGP certificate. We'll hit export. And that'll bring up this window here. It has all the information. This is the public key block. And we're going to need that. We're going to add a new wallet. We'll create a new wallet, a paper wallet using a PGP key and this is advanced which is why it requires a bit of a walkthrough we'll hit next so we're gonna name this your mama's house uh, actually your mama's key so I copied this entire thing not just the text but even the beginning and the end the public key here I copied that and I pasted that in here and now it's accepting it and there's our fingerprint we can verify that it matches the fingerprint here and we can hit next. Our wallet name, just for fun, we're gonna continue the theme of the Yo Mama. And if we wanted to make a password, we could put a password here, but this doesn't really affect much. Okay, so just so you can see what I did. Yo Mama, one, two, three, four, exclamation. Obviously, I'm not gonna use this wallet for anything. Um, this is just for educational purposes. Okay, so this contains a private QR code and a public QR code. So if we download this, and that's going to save our paper wallet. And if we click on that, it'll show us the wallet address that we can send ADA to. And this QR code that we can use to take this wallet and export it to another browser window or in the future, the mobile application for Lace. But that's not here yet. So we can fold it up and store it. It gives you some instructions on how to fold this paper wallet. Okay, so that's really, that's all you need to do. And now you open your wallet and there you are. You're in your mom account. <laughs> That's pretty much all there is to it. The most difficult part, I would say, is creating this certificate and making sure that you have the PGP Certificate Manager. So you can have multiple of these and you can use them to sign and encrypt messages and things like that. All the fun stuff. And decrypt messages. So if you're communicating with someone over email, you can use this to sign a secure message so that you know only you and your recipient are able to retrieve that information within the email and lace uses it as a very secure method you don't know your seed phrase your seed phrase is guarded from even you you know this is a very secure wallet and it's so secure in fact that charles hoskinson showed his pgp key to the world on the youtube video nobody has been able to crack it experiment with lace look forward to the midnight token distribution okay so we've had the glacier drop open up just this morning you saw it on my live and what will happen next if you missed the glacier drop the next step will be the scavenger mine in which unclaimed tokens will be available for all you know anticipating the fact that not everybody is going to be able to claim their night token there will be some left over so after the 60 days that the glacier drop runs we will have the scavenger mine and eventually we'll have lost and found to where even if you didn't let's say you were incapacitated and unable to claim your tokens you would still be I think it's up to four years afterwards. Yeah, four years afterwards, you would still be able to claim a small portion of your night tokens. So look forward to that. Get to know the Midnight Token and the tokenomics. You can find that all out on their website. It'll be in the description below. Become a part of the Cardano community and look forward to more and interesting things happening here. And also, if you want to help out the channel in our mission of education and growth, please make sure to hit that like button, smash the subscribe, poke the notification bell, so you get notified whenever I put out new content. Share the show with everyone you know. That'll help us grow for show for show. Join the free community on Discord and support me as a patron on Patreon. Until next time, see you later.